video is for anyone who struggles with that mind muscle connection i actually saw this method on a wwe behind the scenes training video a few years back you can say what you want about wwe i know some people don't like it there's no denying that these guys are great athletes and the facilities and the training that they have available to them is top of the line it's always worth listening to advice regardless of whether it might directly apply to you or not so for this all you're going to need is a balancing ball what we're going to do is we're going to use the balancing ball up against the wall on our feet to learn how to focus in on the target muscles to engage the target muscles whilst keeping everything else in the body stabilized keeping the ball where it is for one let's focus on back and you're probably going to look at this and think to yourself what so it's basically a lat pull down yes it's basically a lat pull down but what we're going to do is we're going to pick the ball up we're going to use our chest to stabilize the ball against the wall and then we're going to really focus on the squeeze keeping the ball completely still at all times This is about reps, this is about feeling the muscle, engaging the muscle, and then we're gonna transfer those skills, that feeling into our exercises next time we actually train in the gym. Let's have a look at this from side on. The actual balancing part of this activity is not meant to be challenging. It's not meant to be like you're rocking all over the place. The focus should just be simply on locking the ball in, locking your body in when everything is in place, engaging all of your muscles, but then focusing only on moving through the required range of motion and focusing on squeezing the muscle, engaging the muscle, and then holding it for five to 10 seconds. Personally, I would go through this on an off day or recovery day, especially if you're struggling with certain muscle groups, I would go through this routine through a various range of angles, through various range of exercises, and then seeing how it feels when you apply it to your next workout. So for this next exercise, we are gonna focus on a lateral raise and we're gonna flip the ball around and we're actually gonna use our head. This means that we're not looking for momentum. Using the head to keep it in place, we need to stabilize it. Of course, we could probably just use momentum to keep it still, but that's not the point. You don't wanna be cheating yourself here. And then also remember when you're doing a lateral raise, for me, I always like to lean forward and then you've got the old classic pouring of the water and you should hopefully be able to really engage that medial delt and see that cap as you're going through the range of motion. If you want to focus on your rear delts, you can also flip this one around because I'm pulling back a little bit as you focus on that deltoid engagement. As you can see guys, I can engage the muscles with zero weight. Of course, progressive overload is important. However, if you are in a position, a situation, which I was many years ago, let me add, where you're going through these exercises, but you're not seeing results. So deep down, you know that you're not doing something quite right. I would suggest go for an entire workout where you're doing something like this, where you're focusing simply on the movement. Balancing ball, that simply adds a challenge, but it's not entirely necessary. You could lie down on a bench. You could really go for a full range of motion and focus on squeezing at the most important parts of the exercise. Yes, it's not gonna build huge muscles, but it is gonna help you to learn that movement, to learn what your body requires from that movement. 
and hopefully it should make it easier when you choose to implement the weights later on. Personally, I used to struggle with shoulder engagement so much until about 10 years ago. I had a conversation with someone who knew more than me. He demonstrated what I was missing, the key points that I was missing. Once I made those changes, once I made those tweaks, the results followed shortly after. Just a quick video today, guys. Hope this has been helpful. Apply it next time. Let me know if it helps. Like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content. And of course, until the next one, my friends, bye-bye.